everyone this is doxy mom and welcome back to my channel if you haven't done so already i greatly appreciate if you hit that little red subscribe button you can ring the bell for notifications and if you like this video you can just give it a thumbs up well miss cindy and i we're here to bring you the news in 15 minutes or less so let's get started just on a little side note yesterday i was over at the dollar general and i was in line and i found these really cute little magnets this one says so blessed that I bought for myself and I've got, I'm gonna put it on my refrigerator. And then I've been telling you about the young man I've been helping who was released from prison recently. Well, I got him this one. I just wanted to share this with you because I just love it. It says, today is a good day for a good day. Isn't that wonderful? Just wanted to share that with you. Now, Boxer Dad, he showed me something that was, Oh, I just didn't like to, to see it, but I wanted to share it with you as well. It was a Facebook post, and it was a sign hanging in the Bojangles, um, on the Bojangles door, and it said this, No one allowed in store wearing Trump hats or shirts. You will be asked to leave. Well, I just couldn't hardly believe that. You know, I, I really like their uh, those uh, Bowberry biscuits, but you know what? I think I can live without them. Moving on. Now, President Trump, he called into Hannity the other night, and the first thing they talked about was Chuck Schumer. I'm sure you've all seen it. It's been going around the threat that he made to uh, Justices Gorsuch and Kavanaugh. Well, the president thought it was horrible. He said it's unequal justice because think what would have happened if a Republican had said that. Hmm. Then Hannity talked about how many record-breaking votes President Trump has been getting across America. Yet, none of the fake news media is reporting on this. Just like he, in, in Texas, where President Trump received more votes than Bernie, Biden, and Warden all combined. And we're seeing similar results in every state. So, thank you, Jesus. This is great news for President Trump. And he said, President Trump said he'd been hearing that uh, records had been breaking, but not once had he seen those numbers in the media. Hmm, is anyone surprised? I'm not. Now, Hannah D brings up the fact that Joe Biden is under investigation in Ukraine, and apparently the Democrats, well, they've been told not to bring it up. Even the people running against Biden don't bring it up. Isn't that interesting? I think we all know why. Anyway, Hannity, he asked why Obama hasn't backed Biden, and President Trump says he doesn't think Biden has a shot at winning. Then they compare Obama and Biden's economy with Trump's economy, and, well, it's a rags-to-riches comparison. Nobody wants to go back to the old economy because our economy is wonderful and booming. Then they talked about the coronavirus. And guys, we just need to pray for all those who are sick that they will recover. I have heard that many people are starting to recover from the coronavirus. Of course, the mainstream media is not going to tell you about this. But anyway, we just need to be praying for these people and praying that a, um, a cure will soon be found. Now, Sean brings up that in February, 183,000 jobs were added. And President Trump, you know what he said? He said, well, I am not a globalist. I like our country to do well. Isn't that just wonderful? Now, President Trump said that, unfortunately, every year we lose between 27,000 and 77,000 people to the flu. Now, guys, I had no idea this many people, you know, were passing away because of that. And I don't get a flu shot. Of course, I'm not around a lot of people. And shots, well, they just scare me. Not the needle in the arm. That part doesn't bother me. But it's wondering what's actually in that shot that's going in my body. So you have to make up your own mind on this. But when I was teaching high school, I, you know, I got a flu shot every year because... You know, kids get sick, then they come in and they cough all over you and they make you sick. So, hopefully, President Trump, when he starts cleaning all the houses, that the vaccines will become much safer. Anyway, back to the interview. 
President Trump says that the Democrats weaponized the virus against the Trump administration. That's exactly what they're doing. And they weaponize any, anything and everything that, we, that they do um, because they know they're doing a great job. But, you know, the Democrats, they can't admit that now, can they? Now, President Trump said that the Democrats will do anything to assume power and they're backing Biden because they have less control over Bernie. Well, Mr. President, you hit the nail on the head. Then Sean brought up FISA, and President Trump said they weaponized FISA, and Jim Comey is a very bad guy, and you have other very bad people at the top, like Comey, McCabe, Strzok, Page, and a whole group of bad people. But then he says this, We'll see how bad it was. And I believe we certainly will. He ends by saying, uh, let's see what happens going forward. Can you say boom? Guys, it's going to be exciting, and I'll leave a link. Then President Trump had a town hall meeting. Um, it's on three videos on YouTube. I will link those in the pinned comment below because I just didn't have time to take notes on all of them. I've been a little bit busy the past day and a half. I highly recommend that you watch them, but I'm going to hit just a couple of details. Uh, President Trump, he said, the country is far more united than people think. And ultimately, ultimately what's uniting the country is success. Now, personally, I think that we are closer to a 70% pro-Trump and 30% against Trump, uh, not the 50-50 that the fake news media wants you to believe. Now, I don't have proof of those numbers. That's just kind of how I've been feeling. Then, the Democrat field, of course, is narrowing because Elizabeth Warren recently dropped out. And right now, right now, we're down to Bernie and Biden. So they start talking about the coronavirus but President Trump says that Mike Pence, who's in charge of, of handling the virus, that Mike Pence is doing a wonderful job. He's working 20 hours a day on this, and President Trump ends the town hall by praising Mike Pence. Again, President says, I get along great with our vice president. I keep here, I'm replacing him, but he's doing a phenomenal job. He's a great guy and a loyal guy, and he works so hard. Every day I read, He's going to put this one in or he's going to put that one in. But if I did, it would be a great, a great act of disloyalty because he's been great, end quote. So it was very, very nice to hear our president speak so highly of our vice president. Now, I know that I have a lot of followers out there that believe that JFK Jr. is still alive and that they're waiting for him to appear and be our vice president. Well, he could always be our vice president in 2024 or even our president in 2024. So time will tell. Now, President Trump, he says we've got some great people in Washington and it's going to come together and it's going to be sooner than you think. So this is fantastic news. Now, I'm going to leave you with Luke chapter 12, verses 1 through 7 that say, Meanwhile, when a crowd of many thousands had gathered so that they were trampling on one another, Jesus began to speak first to his disciples, saying, Be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. This is, there is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed or hidden that will not be made known. What you have said in the dark will be heard in the daylight, and what you have whispered in the ear in the inner rooms will be proclaimed from the roofs. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body and after that can do no more, but I will show you whom you should fear. Fear him who, after your body has been killed, has authority to throw you into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten by God. Indeed, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. 
Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please share my content. It's free. Please make sure you're still subscribed. And until next time, this is Doxy Mom, and God bless you all.